Hi, beautiful people on Insta. This is your girl, Dewi Miley Lim here. And I believe I am live. Just wondering if this is on. I've never done this before on Instagram. So I wanna make sure this is working. Um, just a moment. I don't see it. So I'm just gonna keep recording and see what happens because I will have a replay no matter what. So welcome, welcome to this beautiful conversation on the golden future and the beautiful teaching of this deck. It's an Oracle deck that I just got uh, called spiritual technology. This is the card that I received. So I wanted to share that with you today. This is a brand new deck that I just got by a woman named Diana Cooper, and I'm new to her world. Um, she is a channel. She's uh, been for many decades now serving. Um, she works a lot with angels and this is her latest deck with the art by a beautiful brother that goes by space before. So you can check out his artwork there. And he is here on Instagram. Um, I just connected with him yesterday, letting him know how much this deck is just really blasting me off. But the idea of this oracle is that it is written from a 5D consciousness perspective, kind of coming from the future into where we are here and now in preparation for us really stepping into the 5D consciousness, unity consciousness, as I call it, uh, reality, the heaven and earth, golden age reality, the age of Aquarius embodied, all of the prophecies coming, the Eagle Condor, Hummingbird Kestal, um, all here and now during our generation, during our embodiment those of us who are alive right now on the planet and choosing consciously to be um, a part of this ushering in and that is who i work with i specifically work with visionary women who know that they have incarnated during this time to be on the vanguard forefront front lines of ushering this beautiful time in all of my containers have this as the context and perspective of everything we do and i have ways that you can work with me from one-off painting vision quests which are day-long immersions that i do in person here in hilo and online virtually as a hybrid event simultaneously at the same time so you can tune in from wherever you are in the world we have one coming up soon called medicine woman and that is going to be on may 4th at moo garden sanctuary here in hilo and um the other offering that i currently have right now is um creating a curated by application uh container it's a creatrix mind for women who really are committed to up leveling their game in terms of the way they show up as a fractal expression of uh, a woman on the front lines of the global awakening who has her own medicine, her own gifts, her own modality and medium in which she is ushering in and anchoring in this golden age for herself, for her family, for those she serves, and really claiming that and becoming, establishing thought leadership in that and to grow community around that. So if that uh, interests you, that container may be a fit for you. I, I don't know, we'd have to have a conversation, but I'd love to get to know you if you're leaning in. But I wanna share, um, just to wrap this all up in a bow, like something actionable that you could really take with you that is coming from this um, first card that I pulled, the spiritual technology piece, and it is expanding your imagination and sharing your vision. So I'm all about that. And I believe that it is from the imaginal realm and that place of um, infinite possibilities, right? That childlike curiosity, wonder, and um, 
exploration that comes when we're children, we're learning about our environment and how to, um, we create on the fly with no censorship, you know, that, that kind of programming and trauma around um, editing and censoring ourselves comes in from other people's um, insecurities about their own ways that they weren't allowed to fully express and be in their full um, their fullness when they were growing up. You know, it's all kind of passed on generationally and even through the school systems, you know, where we typically would uh, think of a teacher as having our best interests in mind. Well, they're doing the best they can. And they have been um, programmed themselves. I mean, even to be operating within a educational system that is not uh, designed to uh, do what the true sense of the word educate it means, which is to draw out from within, not stuff in and you know um, force and and require all this information. It's really about drawing out the brilliance, the genius that's already here. Everyone is innately creative. I, I inherently believe that. And so I use creative practices in my work to coax this out of the women that I work with to connect in and get outside of that um, way of thinking and being that can be so constricted and boxed in just because, you know, no judgment, just because of the way that we have uh, been assimilated, programmed, and the way we have um, made do and made sense of our world. And so in order for us to really anchor in this golden, this golden future, this to anchor, we must come from that imaginal place. And so I'm sharing my vision. I'm committed to sharing more of this vision of what is possible for humanity, for ourselves. Um, and that is already happening here and now on our planet. There are so many sustainable and amazing um, technologies, healing technologies, uh, creative technologies, scientific technologies, um, Energ energetic technologies that are already here, many have been suppressed or many are just coming more online and really getting their heyday. And, and it's, it's actually been demonized to talk about these things in many um, places, you know, especially with nutrition and free energy and things like that. And that is what changing and shifting because it is inevitable that this is happening. And so what I wanted to share today is a real quick story where I was in a container because I invest in my own support and high vibrational containers so that I am kind of have my own coaching and my own uh, guidance to keep up leveling my game and, and so that I can receive reflections and feedback from those who I would like, who I admire and who I want to um, be in their realms and 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 grow in their realms. And that's what's happening for me in one of my containers. It is with a sister of mine called Krista Belzamore. It's called Leadership Mastery. And today we were talking about persuasion, but more than that, more from a place of inspiration. And I had a real visceral experience of when she asked me a question about how I could work with that aspect of myself that feels small still, that comes up against like the what ifs and the shoulds and the have tos and the fears and the doubts and the insecurities, like how can I tap in with the high self aspect of mine and really that sacred technology of the high self. And instantaneously I was in the presence of my high self aspect. I was unconditionally loved. I was washed over with that divine innocent grace that is like always available to us it was a visceral experience and transmission of that where nothing else mattered but just receiving and that is part of the spiritual technology that will be guiding us continuing to anchor in this golden future um so whether or not you have a um, connection with this aspect of yourself, well, we all do, but it's a matter of if you prioritize nurturing it. I am committed here and now to doing more of that myself because that experience I had today just showed me the immense amount of grace and, and protection and guidance and, and just love that is here for me and is here for us. 
And that is required in order for us to trust and surrender into in order for us as way showers, as vanguards of this new age to anchor in the golden future. So thank you so much for listening. Let me know what about I just shared resonates with you and um, how you're committed, how you connect to your high self aspect. If you have a practice around that, I'd love to hear. Um, and if you have any questions about the Oracle or any of my offerings, let me know and you can book time to chat, no obligation, exploration, creatrix clarity calls that I'm offering right now to see if there might be some resources I could share with you to assist you in advancing and forwarding your sacred mission as a way shower and guide during this golden future dawning and anchoring in. I love you and go ahead and book that at bit.ly forward slash rebel heart clarity. Aloha. Have a great day.